Uh, I would probably have to say that Koreans are all about the food. Like everything, <laughs> everything here is like, like culturally related to food, um, and especially a lot of pairings with alcohol. It's typically very relevant. Like often they'll pair like makgeolli with pajeon or something, and then like a spicy jjigae with like soju or something like that. Uh, so it go kind of goes hand in hand with Korean culture, and that's one of my favorite things about living here so far. My favorite part about living in Korea are all the new trends that seem to pop up here all the time. So now we have this thing called the neutral culture, which is basically combining the old and the new. It's where like modern and traditional seem to meet each other, and I just think it's amazing because it appeals to a lot of people's emotions. A country with a large variety of traditional liquors. A country that makes new culture with traditions. Korea is... Korea is... Yeah, hi! <laughs> <laughs> how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm good. Oh, it's so nice to see you. I know, what are you doing today? What are we doing uh, today? Well, I was going to ask you, do you remember that drink that we had last time? The makgeolli, right? The yeah. The Korean wine, yeah. Right, so makgeolli is a really famous like traditional Korean liquor, mm -hmm. but there's so many other traditional Korean liquors. Really? I feel like I lived here long enough that I would know all of them. No, I know. I thought so too. I've also lived here a long time, but that's why I thought we could come to this festival today because they're having so many more and I thought we could check it out and see what else they have. Yeah, that looks dope. Let's check it out. Yeah, yeah, let's go. So, we are officially here. This is the Korean Seoul Grand Festival of 2022. Wait, so Shannon, what does Seoul mean? Seoul actually means liquor. So, uh -huh. we're going to try not just makgeolli, but actually a bunch of different kinds of liquor. So, we have we got our tickets. Stands right here, so that means we can just get straight in. We don't have to walk, worry about anything. Yep. So we got our tickets, and we're gonna go head in now. Ah. Can't wait to see what we have. <laughs> oh my God! Wow. wow. The place we visited is the 2022 Korean Seoul Grand Festival. The festival is said to be the largest traditional liquor event in Korea that began to promote the value and excellence of traditional liquor. In Korea, traditional liquor refers to liquor made by inheriting the traditional brewing method in a country or region in a customary sense. In this context, Korean traditional liquor can be seen as liquor that contains the history and culture of Korea. I was so excited to have visited such a grand festival. Wait, do you smell that? It smells like, you can smell the makgeolli. Which one do you want to try first? Oh my gosh, there's no way there's for so me to decide. Look, it looks like they're ah, you makgeolli can right see we're having people make some makgeolli. I want to do that too. I think we'll be able to do it later, yeah. a little bit later. <laughs> there were so many traditional liquors that I felt like I'd seen or drank somewhere else before. Like, just look how beautiful the packaging is for these. So, they have a lot of wine and stuff around. Yeah, I so love that. I'm There's ready so to much try wine. Mm -hmm. What about you? I don't I, know what I want to try. I don't know either. Yeah. What, what is this thing? Oh wait, hold on. Okay, so this is actually really cool. This is a machine that pairs you with different types of liquor or wine or drinks wait, based what? on your MBTI. I think yeah, you try it. let's go ahead and take the test. Probably take my uh, this one, wine. Oh, mm, probably pasta. Pasta. Oh no, no, not awkward. And this one, I just walk around. So don't check. See, is <laughs> the chestnut. Ah, okay. So it gives you a lot of different options and it also tells you based on your preferences. So this one is saying I would like 6% alcohol. I don't know about that. I got us tickets right here. So oh, really? Actually, so we can go to this cocktail bar right here. We're going to check out some of the cocktails that they're made for us at the Urisu Bar. I'm so excited. Yeah, me too. Wow, oh, look at it. Cheers. Wow. Mm, I love this. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Switch. Ready? Yeah. It's not super sweet. That one either. That one you can taste the makgeolli, but it's like... Yeah. yeah. This one, the Earl Grey comes a little bit later, so wait for it. All right. So if you look at these cups right here, you can see that there's a QR code. And what exactly does that QR code do? When you pull up the link with the QR code, basically what it's going to do, it's going to bring up the website. Look at and this. it's going to take you directly to where these liquors are. So the ones that went into making these drinks, as well as many other awesome cocktails. And these liquors in particular are certified by the Korean government. So this is going to... I don't remember flipping you like that. I mean... Whoa! Oh! It's crazy because there's things Whoa! actually in these bottles. Did you see him roll it? Yes. When they said 
show. This is not what I was expecting. Not at all. I thought it was going to be someone talking like making, about it. yeah. No way. This is dope. This is so cool. <웃음> 아, 지금부터 지금부터라도 박수를 많이 쳐주신 다섯 분께 파테의 모양으로 나눠드리고 저는 물러가도록 하겠습니다. 감사합니다. 감사합니다. Yeah, yeah. So next. All right. So. Just two. The heart one again. Take it. Take it. <laughs> oh wait! Oh, you can you can cool. add a filter to it. I like the. I kind of want to say, get out of my head. <laughs> right. No. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> we participated in the alcohol brewing experience that I was looking forward to the most. We decided to make makbuli, a popular traditional liquor in Korea. <laughs> Mm, we're trying. Yeah, working we were. We really working hard. hard. She said we're not working hard enough. She said. She, <laughs> she said, said work harder. She said please work hard. Okay. <laughs> no, we're trying. Okay. I'm doing my best. When I first tried makgeolli, I thought it was very fresh, and I found out that makgeolli literally just means just filtered out. Makgeolli is popular for its simplicity. It has simple ingredients and a simple recipe. Anyone can make it easily by fermenting a mixture of steamed rice water, and yeast for several days. So now, this is how the makgeolli making experience turned out. I can't wait to taste this makgeolli I made. So how was the makgeolli making experience? Oh my God, this was amazing. Like, <laughs> I remember the last time that I tried makgeolli, I thought it was like really soft and sweet and savory, mm. but that's because it's made from grain, right? Yeah. yeah, and in my experience, like any sort of making alcohol always seem really like grandiose and really difficult, but after seeing how simple the ingredients are and like yes. the work that goes into it, I have a much better appreciation for it now. This was an amazing experience. So yeah, definitely. Thank you for taking me here. So now I want to take you to get some traditional Korean liquor. <laughs> I'm down with that. All right, yeah, let's yeah, go. Yeah, yeah, let's go. <laughs> All, All right. right, so here we are, the traditional liquor store. Right, this one is called Ten Wells, uh, mm -hmm. traditional Korean liquor. Really, really excited. Mm -hmm. So as you can see, if you look around, there's tons, like various amounts. Yeah, of, even if you just... <laughs> look, like, look at all this. <laughs> it's incredible, <laughs> honestly. This place attracts many people's attention as it displays various Korean traditional liquor by region and type. In addition to makgeolli, there are many other types of Korean traditional alcohol. The traditional liquors on display have tags like this. The liquor's name, ingredients, and sweetness are all labeled so you can choose your cup of tea. If you're having a hard time choosing, you can get assistance from the owner of the shop. Let's see. Wow, there's so many options. Okay, there's some samplers right here too. We should start with that. Okay, <laughs> so we have K-Liquor Starter, mm. Chosun Top 3 Liquor Sampler. Mm, they're so pretty. And the names are really sweet. cute. The woman on the beach. <laughs> we had in the Maldives. <laughs> she said that was oh, so cute. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, my favorite. Oh, I love it. This is for you. And this is Jeju, Jeju and Soju. Sweet flavor, but mm. it is 40%. This seems like it's still so juicy. It's sweet, it's still but it'll so still messy up. So we can't. Sweet, but strong. Okay. That's how we like it. That's like you. Let's see how this soju compares to the wheat soju we tried. <laughs> Alright, I guess I didn't need the reaction. <laughs> oh wow, that's the aftertaste of these two is it's so biz mm -hmm. What's better? Strong but sweet. Alright. <laughs> wow! It is the sweetest out of those. But oh my god! Wow, that's so sweet. It strong. smells like it should be like like <laughs> oh, oh so we're eating here. Oh, oh cool. wow. This looks really good. Wow.
Trang Oh, that's so Mine is good. refreshing. Um, I think it was it was really unique and I really enjoyed getting to experience all of it because I know traditionally that a lot of Korean households have their own way of making certain makgeolli or soju or something like that. So today I got to kind of experience that myself when I got to make makgeolli. So it was really, really fun and uh, I really enjoyed the authenticity of it all. I think traditional liquor, especially in Korea, is like a classic. Like it's unbeatable basically. Um, I think that it's been done for a long time, but now you see like a lot of people are starting to try to incorporate traditional liquor with their own modern, modern spin on it. And you can really see that with makgeolli, I would say these days, because people are using makgeolli for everything. You have like chestnut makgeolli, peach makgeolli, um, corn makgeolli, makgeolli ice cream. I'm sure there's gonna be like makgeolli cake at some point. Like, so it's really cool to see like what people do to try to like innovate both of those things together. So I'm really excited about it. Shan, thanks for hanging out with me today. I feel like we made a lot of good memories. Yeah, we did. Thanks for taking me to such a nice place. It was really cool to try all the different traditional Korean liquors. Mm -hmm. Hey, when our makgeolli is ready, I think we should try it together. Oh, good idea, for yeah. sure. And mm. we should definitely invite some friends, too. Yeah, that is a good idea. Yeah, and yeah. I think they're going to be really surprised by how our makgeolli tastes. <laughs> yeah, show them our I, I bet mine will be better. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I guess until then, we should just go out and try some more traditional Korean liquors. I'm more down. <laughs> Let's go. All right, bye. Bye.